In this video, we're going to take a look at what we need to do in order to find excluded values of rational functions. Now let's talk about why we need to worry about that. When we are have a variable in the denominator, we have to make sure that that variable is not equal to zero. Well, why, you might say? Well, because dividing by zero is undefined. If you don't believe me, grab your calculator and it will come up with an error if you try and divide by zero. So what we need to do is figure out what those values are where the denominator would be zero and we're going to set those aside as excluded values. So to do that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and take whatever the denominator is and I'm going to set that equal to zero. Solve it and then there that will give me my values of x that we can't use because we would end up with zero in the denominator. So let's start with this first one. We have x minus 5 and again I'm gonna set the denominator equal to zero because I wanna know what is it that would make that denominator zero and then I solve. So plus 5 plus 5 on both sides and I get x equals 5. So I need to set this 5 aside because if I put 5 in here for x, 5 minus 5 would be 0 and division by 0 again is undefined. So I can't let x equal 5. Alright, let's try this next one. Here we have 5x in our denominator. So I'm going to set that equal to 0. Then to solve that, I'm just going to divide by 5 on both sides. Divide by 5 and we end up with x equals 0. So in this one, we can't let x equal 0 because we'll get that division by 0. Okay, then we go over here. Well, this one, I'm going to set the denominator equal to 0 again. And then I'm going to have to brush up on my factoring skills here because we've got the x squared term. To solve this, I need to factor this if possible. That's one method. Remember, it's a, a quadratic, so to solve that we have several methods, but I like factoring if possible. So what I'm looking for is factors of 3 that are going to add up to that minus 4. Well, 3 and 1 would do that. So this is going to break up into x, and both signs are minus. This is plus, so they're both minus. So x minus and x minus the factors of 3 that add up to 4, 3 and 1, like so. Then remember, zero product property says that we go set each of those pieces equal to 0. So then I have x minus 3 equals 0, and x minus 1, oops, don't want to equal there yet, x minus 1 equals 0. Then solve each of these. So this one we're going to add 3 to both sides to end up with x equals 3 and add 1 on both sides here and end up with x equals 1. Okay, So that means that 3 and 1 both will not work because we'll end up with a 0 in the denominator and we can put those in to check that if we don't uh, quite believe it. And this one again we're going to set that denominator equal to 0 so x squared plus 3x equals 0 this one, again, I can factor, okay, I can pull an x. Both of those have an x in common, so I'm going to take that out front. x squared divided by x is x, then plus 3x divided by x is 3, so plus 3 equals 0. Remember that when we factor something out like that, we can always check if we factored it correctly by distributing this back through. So we'd have x times x, which is x squared x times 3 which is 3x so it works good then zero product property comes in again if this whole thing is zero then either this has to be zero or this has to be zero so I set each of them equal to zero first one is x equals zero right here nothing else to do with it so that's one of my solutions then x plus 3 equals zero to solve that I'm just going to subtract 3 on both sides and end up with x equals negative 3. So negative 3 and 0 in this case are going to be the things that I have to be excluded because they would result in the denominator being 0. So in summary, 
to find the excluded values in rational expressions, what we want to do is set the denominator equal to zero and then solve. Those values that we find there, sometimes it could be just one value, but other times we could have more than one. Those things we need to set aside, we can't use those because our denominator would be zero and we can't divide by zero. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do anything you put your mind to.